Welcome back. So of course we can make a lot more tests right here. Let's just start out with making another simple test right here. I want to say that I should call um, collection. I actually want to make sure that I should call snapshot changes one time, right? So snapshot change should be called one time on the service. So it's pretty much just changing this. Now notice I don't have snapshot changes. I have it on my collection, but you can't do it like this where you do dot snapshot changes like this. Let's actually try it just to show you. Maybe we can. Maybe I just I'm wrong. Let's try it out. So we add this new guy, so we should call snapshot changes whenever we call that uh, get get products. Oh, we fail, right? Because it can't do it like that. It doesn't know that we have the snapshot changes like that. So what we can do is, because we made a mock of the file service collection right here, fi uh, sorry, Firestore collection, we can actually use that guy to get the snapshot changes. So I'll say Firestore collection dot mock, uh, mock dot snapshot changes like that should be called once. Let's just try and check that one out and see if that helped. It should. There we go, so now it actually passes. So that pretty much means that because we made this mock, we actually have access to all the methods that are available on such a collection as well now, if you want to kind of test those out as well, right? So another thing we could test was kind of, when we actually call the collection right here, what do we want to pass in? Let's just try and grab this guy right here, paste him in below, should call collection with uh, this parameter. So it'll be products, that'll be the parameter that I'm passing in as param. Let me try and show you how I know this. Uh, if you go back to the project and product service right here, you'll notice that when I call the collection right here and get products, I'm passing in the collection path and the collection path is products right now. So let's just try and test that. So how do we do that? Well, we can say we want to get products again. Now what we expect is the Angular Firestore mock collection to have been called, but not how many times. We expect that it's called with a specific parameter called products like this. There we go. So that's kind of another test here. Just saying that I expect that you're calling with this parameter whenever you're actually calling this collection in this specific get products right here. Sweet. Now another thing you'll notice is that we actually call service get products again and again. So why not make in this describe just a small um, before each right here. So I'll just copy this before each right here and I'll put it down into this describe right here. And that is before each. There we go. It's going to contain all these it statements. So before each call, what we're going to do is we're actually just going to pass in the get products once, and then we'll call it before all of the methods right here. And that should actually be a perfect way to kind of test these, these guys right here. So we need to put an end parenthesis right here, of course, on a semicolon. There we go. So now it'll call get products before each of these calls down here. And again, I limited my code quite a bit right there as well. So that's it for this lesson. I just wanted to show you guys how easy it actually is to set all, all of this up. Now let's just for the fun of it, just make sure that it actually works. So I'll just add the before each down here as well, or sorry, the get products. Now it should actually fail with one of the tests because I'm calling it twice. There we go. And let me just show you what's called twice. So just to show you that this actually works before each, it is actually clearing up every time and now it only calls the product one time again. That's it for this lesson. I know that was a lot of new information again, but just keep working, keep having fun. See you next time, bye.